the first words I said to you were, you look familiar. <laughs> and you did. I just wasn't sure where I'd seen you before. But standing here beside you today, it couldn't be more clear. I was just a shadow on my own. Listening to albums. You looked familiar because you're the woman that I've always dreamed of. We come together not to mark the start of a relationship, but to acknowledge and strengthen a bond that already exists. You are my best friend and soulmate. I can't tell you enough how lucky I feel to marry the love of my life. Huh. You look so beautiful, I know. You like the dress? I love the dress, oh my God. The stories I've heard tonight, and I hope to hear more from the Russo side, but the love was, you know, inculcated in the first sight, and that's very rare, and we're happy about it, and so proud to see them in front of me as a, a couple. It's wonderful. Adrian and Phil's love story began like most do, at likely the shittiest bar in New York called Sidebar. If you're not familiar, that's probably a good sign. Despite its unlikely start, Phil and Adrian's love grew, much like the number of pickleback shots they took after a Patriots touchdown. In Phil, Adrian found a confidant, friend, and partner. What we love most about Phil is his unconditional support of Adrian. You can give without loving, but you can never love without giving. The great acts of love are done by those who are habitually performing small acts of kindness. We pardon to the extent that we love. Love is knowing that even when you are alone, you will never be lonely again. And great happiness of life is a conviction that we are loved, loved for ourselves and loved even in spite of ourselves. We're gathered before God on this day to witness and celebrate the marriage of Adrian and Phil. The question is asked, is there anything more beautiful in life than a young couple clasping hands in pure hearts in the path of marriage? Can there be anything more beautiful than young love? And the answer is given. Yes, there is a more beautiful thing is the spectacle of an old man and an old woman finishing their journey together on that path. Their hands are gnarled but still clasped. Their faces are steamed but still radiant. Their hearts are physically bowed and tired but still strong with love and devotion. Yes, there is a more beautiful thing than young love, old love. Adrian, you are perfect to me in every single way. You are breathtakingly beautiful, remarkably kind, compassionate, and you have the biggest heart in the world. Phil, I've loved you from the moment I met you. Over the past five years, loving you has been effortless, natural, here we go, <laughs> and indescribable. You came into my life when I least expected it. In the beginning, I treaded lightly. I fell so hard for you and was scared of how much I instantly loved and adored you. I had no idea a love like this could exist. I promise you that no matter where life takes us, I will forever be your biggest supporter and your number one fan. I will always put you first. I will be honest with you, patient with you. I will treat you with the respect that you deserve. With you, I feel safe, loved, confident, 
beautiful, respected, cherished, and valued. Not only are you my best friend, but you're the best friend I've ever had. I love you with all my heart. Although today marks the start of the rest of our lives, I know it will not be enough time with you. I promise I will not take our time together for granted. And because words cannot do it, I promise to show you for the rest of my life how much I love you. On this day, I marry my best friend. The one who shares my life, my love, and my future. From this moment on, you two shall go through life together. May love be the word that best defines your hearts and your home, and may love forever unite you for the blessings and grace of a joyful marriage. You have opened your hearts to one another, declared your love and friendship, and have united yourself with the exchanging of rings. Therefore, with the blessings of God, it is my pleasure to now pronounce you husband and wife. And now for the best part, as always, you may now celebrate with a kiss. It is my pleasure to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Rousseau. I remember the first day when Phil walked into my office bright and early with a huge smile on his face and without even saying good morning, but he blurts out, I met someone last night, her name is Adrian, and she's perfect in every way. Adrian is the kindest, most down to earth, nurturing, selfless woman I know. Anyone can hear you, but it takes a certain person to listen to you. And that is the one thing I admire about Adrian. Adrian? I've known Phil before you were in his life and after. You changed his world. When you really love somebody, you make yourself even better because you love that other person so much. And that's what you guys have. And I love you very much. Phil, thank you for being the brother we never had and Adrian's biggest fan. For that, we are forever, forever grateful for you. Congratulations. We wish you all the success and happiness. We love you. We wish you a lifetime of happiness. Cheers to the Mr. and Mrs. Russo! Please raise a glass to the new family. Health and happiness. Adrian and Phil! Oh yeah!